I told you guys to be on the lookout for a bonus haul and that is what I'm sharing with you guys today. It was 600 at Costco. If you are new, my name is Vanessa and today I have a bonus grocery haul. Typically I share a weekly grocery haul and on Saturdays, which I did yesterday. Hopefully this is going up on Sunday. Otherwise it's Tuesday. Go back to Saturday. I'll have it linked down below so you guys can check it out. But I went to Trader Joe's and Target, but there were some bulk items that we needed slash wanted and I found some extra goodies to try as well. So my total was 617, 618 and change. I'm gonna take you guys down to my counter, show you every, or not my counter, my dining room table, show you everything I picked up. So if you guys love Costco hauls, you're definitely going to want to subscribe. I go probably every four to six weeks. It really just depends on when we run out of the dry dog food. When we run out of that, that's when it's time for another Costco haul. So let me go ahead and show you guys what we picked up for this shopping haul. All right, so here's the overview. We got a lot of food items, but we did get some non-food as well. So I'm gonna start on the non-food side. All right, so we did pick up some toilet paper. Our favorite brand is the Charmin, got that. And then I like to have twos of certain things on hand just so I never run out. And these were on sale. So I already have a full one in my laundry room, but because these are still on sale, I think today is the last day. New sales start the beginning of September. So I was able to get the Clorox two at a discounted price as well as the Downy, this one. They have the, what is it, like a blue one? I don't know the scents or anything like that, but the blue one wasn't on sale, this one was. So these will definitely last me much longer than a month. I didn't really need the paper plates either. I have like half of a package left, but again, we don't go all the time, like maybe once a month, a month and a half, but I like to have paper plates on hand. I'm sorry, that's just something for lunch time, breakfast time, I'm a paper plate person. <laughs> so I don't like to do dishes all day, every day. So I did pick up the Dixie Ultra, this is my favorite. There's 186 plates in here, and with three younger kids that I'm constantly making you know, things for, especially now that we homeschool, I'm not using plates and trays and stuff every single day. I do some days but not every single day. So paper plates definitely in this house. Um, it is time for me to replace a lot of my kitchen towels and a lot of my kitchen towels are white and they're just really dingy looking. So I went ahead and picked up this eight pack. These will be replacing my old ones. I got the gray just so stains don't show as well and my walls are gray throughout the entire house. So I thought that these would match pretty good. There's different patterns and shades of gray and all of that in here. So I'm looking forward to washing these and replacing my old ones. I also picked up some underwear for me. I don't know if I've ever purchased underwear from Costco, but it is that time where I need to replace some of mine. This is a four pack. It says performance bikini. This is definitely the shape that I prefer and they just feel really good. It says sport stretch, ventilated mesh, seamless stretch, moisture wicking and tag free. So you can see up there the four different colors. There's like a navy blue, a gray, a pink, and like a gray black. So hopefully these work out. Then I got my son Bryce a pair of shorts. These are Adidas and they're just like athletic type shorts with like a really light black, dark black kind of camo design on there. So I got those for him. They do have pockets and then it does have the brand labeled on there, but he just lives in these types of shorts and he's growing, you know, all my younger kids are growing like weeds. So I got him just one pair. I got myself an oversized sweater and I wouldn't really call this a sweater cause it's really light. I can see through it when I hold it up to the light. I don't know if I'll have to wear, I might have to wear a tank top under this, but I just loved it. I mean, it's a hundred degrees. There's one day this coming week that says 89 is the high and I am all for that day. I'm excited. But as far as the weather, it's still super hot. But I picked this up because this was on sale as well. I think it was like $5 off. You can see it's long sleeve. I just like the ribbing down there. And it's also down here. So I just thought this would be super comfortable to wear in the house. Again, oversized, over leggings. Picked that up. And then my husband was with me. And he's been looking for t-shirts that don't have anything on them. Like he lives in that what's up chicken butt and he lives in his like Mountain Dew shirt and things like that but he wanted some that didn't have any prints on it and these are that cooling fabric which again is really nice 
for where we live. It's always hot here. So I picked up two. This one is just a solid late blue color. And then this second shirt that he got has a little bit of difference in the color. So it's like a darker gray and then a lighter gray down here. But he did pick two shirts up for himself. And then I think the last non-food item, I believe, are razors. So my husband and I use the same exact, well, I mean, he has his own razor, but I have the same exact one for myself. <laughs> so we are out of razors and, or the blades, and these are on sale as well. So these last us a really long time. You can see there's four packs in there. Oh, and my daughter Paige uses the same um, razor as well. So split between the three of us. Okay, now on to the consumables. We'll start with the drinks. I wanted to get something. I feel like I've been a little extra bloated here lately. I don't know, but I did read that drinking just sparkling and mineral and that kind of thing will make you bloat. So I'm going to try it out by drinking just regular flavored water. This is not sparkling or mineral. It doesn't have any kind of bubbly in it. It's just plain old water with a little bit of seasoning. So these were on, or seasoning, flavor. <laughs> so these were on sale. They are the Hint. There's 15 in there, and I have this upside down or backwards, but there's five watermelon, five blackberry, and five pineapple. So I'm gonna give those a try just to help with the bloating, maybe, who knows. I did get another pack of Coke. Again, there's three people in the house that drink that. So I did get one at Sam's. I went ahead and got that one. I was gonna pick up a Dr. Pepper, but they were completely out. So. I didn't pick up another one, but there's only one person in the house that drinks the Dr. Pepper. So that pack that we got last week should last a, a good amount of time. I went ahead and got a huge thing of coconut oil because I feel like the last few recipes that I've tried to make calls for coconut oil and I'm completely out. So I went ahead and got a big one to have on hand. Kira let me know that she's been putting this in her dog food when she makes it because pumpkin has been hard to find and this is really good for their coat and their skin health. So I'm gonna try to put a little bit of that in the next time I make dog food and see if my dogs are okay with that. Back to the sparkling water. This is how I get my water intake. I am not a fan of tap water or even filtered water or even plain water bottles. I don't know. I just, I like the sparkliness, the bubbly, and I like flavors. <laughs> so I did go ahead and get that. Um, there's 35 in there. This is the Kirkland Signature, which is a Costco brand. There's 15 of the lime, 10 lemon, and 10 grapefruit. I got the Premier Protein. This was on sale as well. I don't use that all the time. This pack will last me a, a really long time. I mean, probably a month, if not longer, until the next time it goes on sale, because I don't have one every single day. But I do enjoy every now and then, especially if I'm not going to be eating breakfast, I have one of those and I just put my cup of coffee in it with my collagen and that's it. And that keeps me full until lunchtime. Also, I got another thing of their Protein 2.0. So they sell this at Sam's Club and at Costco. So they sent me this one and the last one that I shared. This is the strawberry watermelon, which yum, super yummy. So you can see there, there's 20 grams of protein, zero sugars. If you are living the keto lifestyle, it says it's keto friendly and it also has electrolytes for hydration. So this is really good. There's 12 packs in there and they are 16.9 or there's 12 bottles in there and there's 16.9 ounces in each bottle. So we have that to be drinking on. We love our drinks. <laughs> you guys know that we always have a plethora of drinks on hand. Okay. We've got some produce here. I love the apple pears. They're so yummy. I am the main person in the house who eats these. My daughter Pearl will eat them every now and then, but I really am the main one who eats those. Went ahead and got some bananas for any, just on the side of any breakfast. A pineapple, um, all of my kids enjoy pineapple. The three cucumbers, like this is the main thing that I like to add to lunches for the kids because it's, I mean, the main vegetable that they will all eat with no questions asked. So I always try to get the three pack now. I got strawberries and blueberries. I'm actually going to be making a recipe that calls for blueberries and then strawberries are everybody's favorite in the house. We're out of apples, so I went ahead and got our, what we like to call our Disney bag, which is the gala. And I just love the sizes of these. I think they're nice and small, perfect for my younger three kids. Okay, oh yes, we got a, I was like, is that all the produce? No, we got a bag of salad. This is actually, we're gonna be eating this tonight. When you guys are seeing this, we're gonna have this bag of salad with some french fries and the chicken tenders that I made in my back to school freezer prep. That's gonna be our quick dinner tonight because we have been super busy and just on the go all weekend long. And this, we have not tried this before. It's the Organic Avocado Ranch Chopped Kit. So it has green and red cabbage, romaine lettuce, kale, and avocado puree. 
carrot, salted corn flax chips, smoked white cheddar, and then crispy dried corn with a creamy avocado ranch dressing. That sounds really good. I love the mix, the salad mixes at Costco. I think they're super yummy and the ones at Sam's as well. All right, and then that sort of has a <laughs> produce in it. I picked up these snack packs. I can't remember if they were on sale or not, but I thought that would be amazing to have during our school week. We've been taking breaks for snack, but I feel like the kids try to take too much time for their snack break. I mean, sometimes it's 30, 45 minutes. And I'm like, that's too long for a snack break. So this week we're gonna try taking our snack upstairs into the school room with us, which typically I do not allow food or drink upstairs. I mean, the kids are not allowed to have it in their rooms or anything. We have been taking our water bottles up to the school room. So we're gonna try out these little snack packs and just see how it goes. But there's six in there. And what do they have? They have apple slices, cheddar cheese, and then I think three of them have roasted salted almonds, yep, and then three of them have cheddar crackers, like goldfish type of thing. So we're gonna give that a try, see if the kids like it. Polly, I know I have new stuff in here, but you're not allowed on the table. Get down. <laughs> she wanted to say hi, I guess. All right, back there, I got a big bag of the hippies, which are one of my oldest daughter's favorite snacks. They're the vegan white cheddar. And then speaking of my older daughter, we do a lot of things with coconut milk, so I did get the six cans of that for her. And then you guys can't see it, but down here, this is something new. So I picked this up for her, just something super easy to have on hand. I like to have a few different, like, shelf stable items for her. There's eight pouches in there. It says 16 servings. So I don't know how much one pouch is. If she thinks it's, you know, enough or two, or sometimes they're misleading and she can eat one whole one as one serving. But I thought this would be something good that she could put over any kind of vegetable like broccoli or cauliflower or also over rice or noodles if she wanted. And it's just the chickpea masala and it says authentic Indian masala. It does say vegan. Chickpeas, onions, tomatoes, spices, and green chili. So went ahead and picked that up for her to try. Speaking of trying, oh my gosh, I got two things because Kim keeps talking about them from the wads. If you guys aren't watching her, you should. She's, I love her. I, I watch every single video. <laughs> She's just so fun to hang out with during her videos. So she talks about these all the time and I didn't realize that these are vegan, vegan also. So I know my oldest daughter is definitely gonna wanna try these. Now, I love that it's not a huge bag. So because we only go four to six weeks at a time, I don't feel like I'm constantly, if, I am falling, if I'm gonna fall in love with these, which I bet I will, I don't feel like I'm constantly gonna be eating them because there's not, I mean, it's a good size bag, but I feel like there's not a whole bunch in there. There's 20, I just saw that. There's 20 cookie hunks in there. So I feel like just if my sweet tooth is just overpowering, I can just pull one of these out and have one like every other day or something like that. So I'm gonna give these a try because she raves about them. They are Heavenly Hunks, Ridiculously Amazing Organic Oatmeal Dark Chocolate Gluten-Free Cookies. ENCs, baked with love and real ingredients. So I'm excited to try those. I've been putting off getting them because I was afraid that I would just become obsessed and buy them all the time, but who cares? <laughs> they look good. I'm gonna try them. We got the bacon crumbles. Um, we like to have this on hand for certain dishes and salads. I got the turkey breast. This is my kids like go-to lunch meat for lunchtime, making sandwiches or even just having with no sandwich bread. Just the meat, the cheese, and then different sides. Speaking of cheese, we definitely got a lot of cheese going on. We're completely out of all cheese in this house. So I got the sharp cheddar block, the Colby Jack block, and then I got the Tillamook um, deli slices for grilled cheese sandwiches and lunch meat sandwiches and that kind of stuff. Okay, back over here, lots of boxes. That one up there is also, man, I feel like my kids go through phases where they're constantly asking for dessert after dinner and then sometimes they don't. So. One thing that I like that Kim says she does is every Friday is like brownie Friday in her house. And I don't know if that's the only time that she makes sweet treats, but I feel like that's something that we're gonna try and see if it works for my family is getting away from, I mean, I'm okay with like this kind of snacky thing and what else, like the fig bars. I bought the protein bars or the Z bars at Sam's, like that kind of thing for the kids to snack on during snack time. But as far as like desserts, 
I feel like I'm gonna do the same thing. There's only gonna be one dessert available for the week, and maybe I make that on Monday, whatever, to have during the school week, or maybe I make it on Friday, and it's like a sweet treat for the weekend. I don't know yet, but I really like that idea, and I feel like we're gonna try that in the house. There's six packs in there, <laughs> but she says this is the best brownie mix ever, and there's so many things. I could just make them plain old brownies, but there's so many things that you can do with brownie mix to um, spice it up and turn it into different things. So I thought that would be good. The Vietnamese pho, we pick this up every time now, and it happens to be on sale, so it is an even a better deal. So we got that, there's nine bowls in there. My husband and Paige are the only two who eats that, so that lasts a little while. Um, out of mac and cheese, this is a staple. We make one box every single week for lunches because my daughter Rose is a obsessed with mac and cheese and it's just one thing that I know she enjoys. Okay, I've gotta come over here because I can't reach. We got the fig bars, everybody in the house loves these. So I went ahead and got them. I like the variety pack. It's got 36 total, 12 raspberry, 12 blueberry, and then 12 original fig. I went ahead and got the ranch seasoning. I've tried making my own ranch seasoning. I'm just not a fan. I've tried a couple different variations and recipes that I found online. And I just love the Hidden Valley. I don't know about McCormick, but I'm assuming I'm gonna like this one as well. It says three in one. You can turn this into a dip, a seasoning, use it as a seasoning or salad dressing. So I'm gonna use that for various things. I've been using a lot of vanilla lately, so I did go ahead and pay the big bucks for the big one to hopefully last me a lot longer. My husband doesn't put anything extra in his coffee. He likes just sweet coffee, no creamer, no like syrup, anything like that. He doesn't use my collagen, nothing like that. But he does try to be like, I mean, as little, a little healthier when he can. So went ahead and got this monk fruit sweetener. I'm gonna keep it by the coffee pot up in the cabinet. So he has this, so this won't be hiding in the pantry for him to forget about. So got that for him to make every single morning before he goes to work. Went ahead and got the Annie's cinnamon rolls. My oldest daughter loves these. My kids like cinnamon rolls too. And we used to get the Pillsbury every now and then, but I'm telling you, if you haven't tried the Annie's, I mean, even if you're not, if you don't care about organic, just ignore that. These are a little bit better. I mean, a cinnamon roll is still, I mean, cereal, donut for breakfast. It's still not the best choice, but <laughs> these taste the best. Like these blow Pillsbury out of the water. I think they are so good and the kids enjoy them and pay, this is something that Paige um, likes to eat as well. So I got that, there's three in there. So that'll be three different breakfast options for the kids. We do have plenty of hot dog buns left over from Sam's Club. We had Kira over for just a little barbecue, her and her family. And we have lots of hot dog buns left over. So I went ahead and got these uncured bison dogs. They just looked really, really good. And I didn't want like a plethora of hot dogs on hand. <laughs> so I figured this was the perfect amount for us to have one night on the weekend for lunch or dinner. And we'll have a few left over to go into the next day. So I'm excited to try these though. They really look good. I don't think I've ever purchased bison dogs before. So excited to try that. Okay, I got the gnocchi skillet kit from Sam's that had the spaghetti sauce on it. Definitely not for the family, just enough for two people. Even though it says it feeds five, this bag is a lie. <laughs> There's not very much in here. That bag is already gone and knowing that it's not gonna work for dinner, I picked this up for me to have for lunch or like as a side with something else we're having for dinner. I don't know yet, but I did like the other one. I just, I won't purchase it again, but I wanted to try this one because it has a cheese sauce and it's very, it looks similar to the one that I get from Trader Joe's. And I only buy that once a month, four to six weeks, you know? So it's just like a little treat for me to have for lunch. So I'm not gonna feel bad if I eat this whole thing. Maybe I'll skip breakfast that day. But it's Italian gnocchi, a roasted garlic and herb butter for cheese sauce. Mmm, that is right up my alley. So I did pick that up. As far as bread, I actually got several different bread items. I went ahead and got the two pack of baguettes. One of them is going to immediately go into the freezer and the other one, I'm making a loaded potato soup this week, even though it's 100 degrees outside. I don't care, I'm ready for fall, okay? I'm gonna cook like it's fall and the weather is gonna just get in place, right? I don't know if that's gonna work or not, but I needed a baguette or wanted a baguette for that. I'm gonna be making some egg salad for lunch and I thought it would be so good on butter croissants. This is a lot though. <laughs> there's 12 in here and there's no way I can go through these. So gonna talk about Kira again 
because she's my bestie here on YouTube. And I mean, in real life also, if you guys are new, she lives in San Antonio, just like I do. I'll have her channel linked down below. If you guys don't know who Kira is, her channel is 50 shades of mom, but she preps breakfast sandwiches with these croissants. And I was actually with Kira at Costco and she got these as well. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to ask her or I'll just look up one of her meal prep videos and see what exactly she puts on here. But that's something I can easily do. So I'll keep maybe half of it for egg salad and I'll turn the other six into breakfast sandwiches for, you know, later in the week. They'll, they're really easy to freeze that way. And then the last of the bread, I got some hamburger buns for Paige. I got her some hamburgers and then she won't eat all of these probably, but I have some hamburgers in the freezer as well. So went ahead and got this 12 count and then we're completely out of sandwich bread. So I got the nature's own butter bread, again, two loaves. So one will go in the fridge, the other will go in the freezer and that will last us a little while. I already mentioned this a little bit, but my daughter loves these Beyond Burgers. There's eight in here. There's two in each little pack. So she really enjoys these. So I pick those up for her and then chicken for the dogs. I know the sun is starting to go down a little bit. Um, chicken for the dogs. I went ahead and got one of the fresh packs first because this is what I tend to pick up because they don't have this all the time, but this one's definitely cheaper. This chicken is $2.99 a pound. There's two to three in each pack, and there's six packs in this bad boy. But I do like this one because they're conveniently packaged. So I got that one, and then I saw that they did have this in the freezer section, but this is $1.89 a pound. So definitely a better bang for your buck. So I'll try to remember that next time. Maybe I'll check out the freezer section first because I don't know if I would have necessarily bought both. I don't know. We were out of chicken though, so having the both of them isn't gonna hurt anything. I've got the freezer space, which I'm very grateful for. So this is a 10 pound bag, a boneless, skinless chicken breast. So this is in the freezer section again. That's in the fresh, pick them both up. And then speaking of the dogs, this is why we go to Costco. This is our favorite. Um, just the ingredients, the brand, the price, I feel like it's all pretty good. So we get two and it lasts anywhere from four to six weeks for the dogs. Um, we just have a big scooper in our container and I scoop it out twice a day for them. At dinner time, they get my little homemade mixture mixed into the dry food. So this is Kirkland Signature, Nature's Domain, Turkey Meal and Sweet Potato Formula for dogs. And if you guys wanted to see the dogs, that's one. And that's two. If I say their names, they'll like jump up and say, what are you talking about? <laughs> so those are our two dogs. But that is everything that we got from Costco for this haul. So now the fun part and putting everything up. But good thing everybody's home to help me. So we'll all help get this all up situated in the pantry, fridge, freezer, all that good stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you love watching Costco hauls, give this one a big thumbs up again. I share one every like four to six weeks whenever we run out of the dog food. So I hope you guys have a great, it's already the end of the weekend by the time you guys are seeing this, but I hope you guys had a great weekend and you're excited about the upcoming week, whatever is coming your way, whatever you have planned. I hope it's a good one and I will see you guys in the next video.